We got a 2003 Ford F-150 with the 5.4. We had a misfire condition. It came in and it was running rough. Customer had stated that they had put a coil pack on this vehicle because it was doing the same thing about a week or two before. Ran diagnostics on it, showed primary ignition uh, circuit was open. Now, what you can do here is you take a test light, hook it to the negative side of your battery, touch the positive, make sure the light works. Now, for this ignition circuit, uh, this one was reading for the number one cylinder, which is on the passenger side in the front, which would be this one right here. So what, you, what I did was I unplugged the plug here, and you turn the key on, and you should have a constant power going in on one side, and then the ground on this one is actually sent from the computer, and it pulsates. So what I have found that you can use to make sure that your ground and all is correct for your ignition coil here, is you can actually use a Noid light. Now, a Noid light is used to check injector pulse to make sure that you don't have an issue with the computer sending power to your injectors. This is a GM PFI. This will actually plug straight into your harness. Let's go ahead and get that real quick. Show you what I'm talking about. If you look in there, it's two prongs. You'll take and plug that in. Let's crank the truck up. And if the circuit is complete, or if the circuit is correct, you should get a flashing light which would indicate that you have a constant power and a ground that is getting sent to it via computer in a pulsating motion. Let's crank the truck up and see. As you can clearly see, definitely getting signal so the circuit's good now if this isn't lighting up you need to start unwrapping right here and trace it back and see if maybe there's damaged wire or something like that but this one seems to be working properly so the next thing i did was i owned out the coil pack this is the coil pack that they installed wait, wait, hold on. there we go Here's the thread. this is the coil pack that the customer had installed brand new when i owned it out it was like 20 ohms where i checked the new one and it was only around 15. now if you inspect this coil look at that it is busted and basically it has melted so this brand new coil is no good take the noise light out Plug our and the truck comes back down like it's supposed to. Everything's working properly. So if you ever have an open emission circuit A, you have to figure out which cylinder it is, and you can tell that by the code. And then I would first make sure you have constant power going to it. And then if you don't have a noid light, you can also test it via hooking your uh, test light up reverse you take the lead that you normally hook to the ground and you put it on the positive and then you'll find make sure that you have the correct one for the ground and whenever it's pulsating the test light will light just like this noise light here it'll flash but you can also go to your local auto parts store or rent a tool whatever and get a set of noise lights and that's how you diagnose an ignition circuit for an open circuit